According to United Nations, nearly 1 million stateless Rohingya refugees reside in Ukia and Tekna Fupajilas. There are over 400,000 children. The vast majority live in 34 extremely congested camps, Kutupalong being the largest. Despite immense effort by Bangladesh government and international agencies, the Rohingya population still remains in an extremely precarious situation. Water and sanitation is probably one of the biggest challenges that Rohingya population faces right now in the camps. To tackle the unprecedented influx of refugees, hundreds of single pit latrines were constructed at the beginning. But now they are filling up and becoming almost unusable. And due to excessive plumbing, groundwater level is decreasing at an alarming speed. Because of the dense population in small area, lack of sanitation facility and water sh shortage can quickly turn into a critical problem. If unchecked, it can bring disastrous consequences for the inhabitants. Banglabari, an architectural and engineering firm, has two major proposals to fight these challenges. Number one, rapid sanitation through modular-based latrines. And number two, installing water purifiers with fingerprint system. The first proposal. Banglabari proposes a project of rapid sanitation where latrines can be installed cheaply and quickly. These latrines are double pit made with recycled plastics and Lego-like in nature. To construct a traditional latrine usually requires four labors at least two to three days and costs over 200 euros. Banglabari latrines can be built by just two person in few hours costing only 100 euro. Hence, these modular latrines can reduce both the cost and construction time by 50%. Moreover, it creates a great demand for recycled plastic, thus cleaning up the environment. The problem with the traditional latrine making is that it requires different materials to be purchased from different vendors. Brake, cement, heavy pit, latrine bowl, pipe, each element has to be bought from different place. So there is this huge system loss in transportation and construction. Also, two types of skill set is required. A mason to build the structure and a plumber to do the rest. Banglavari latrines eliminates all these problems. They are very simple to construct. Everything comes in a box and since it is modular, it can be built quickly and if needed, dismantled quickly. The color blue represents water and clean sanitation. In certain spots like the columns and bays, sand and mortar is filled to strengthen the structure. These latrines have huge benefits. Because they are double pit, the cleaning process is simple and it can be run perpetually for many years without much maintenance. Not only it is affordable and easy to make, these latrines are also very mobile. So if a family needs to move to a distant place, they can take these latrines with them. If something is broken, they just need to be replaced that small part instead of tearing down the whole thing. The brilliance of the design solves many challenges at once. Proposal 2. To establish multiple water purification units all across the camps for clean drinking water for the population. These units will run on solar power to ensure continuous supply. Distribution of clean water is a huge challenge and unthinkable water wastage happens when unchecked. Banglavari purification units will be self-monitored with fingerprint scanner. This way, wastage of water will be almost eliminated. Moreover, these units by Banglavari will collect data on water usage. It will also provide a clear picture on the demand of water based on location, family size and age. These water usage data can be of huge interest to the local and international agencies working on site. The residents only need to register once with their fingerprints. Afterwards, they will be provided a timeline and a map on where to get clean drinking water every day. Again, the brilliance of design solves many challenges at once. Banglabari recently won a project for Japan's grant aid for climate change and implementing now the water purification systems all over southern Bangladesh. For more information, please visit www.banglabari.org or email fawazrob at gmail.com. Thank you.